I'm Brian Patrick Monaghan. I'm playing Dr. Spalding. Uh, today we were doing a little bit of a read through, kind of first rehearsal, dig into the text and get some context so everybody's on the same page before we start shooting so we can get to work and make the most out of our time when we are actually shooting. Because yeah, there's scenes that like, like Michael wrote from the beginning that like I basically want him to be the leader on because he knows it the best and there's vice versa so so for anamnesis alex and i uh have decided to co-direct the four episodes because we were we co-write co-wrote all four of them and um so much of both of us is in all the episodes that it didn't make sense for certain scenes that alex had a specific vision for for me to try to do and vice versa it'll kind of force us to do a lot more preparation ahead of production because we just have to be on the same page with at least one other person but basically from here on out, whatever one of us says applies to both of us. It's been discussed. It's been discussed. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> we are back in Santa Barbara for another location scouting day with uh, Terrence, the DP. This is one of two beaches we're going to be filming at in the web series. There's one directly behind the beach house we're filming at, down in the ocean side by San Diego. And this is another beach we want to film at because it's just so dreamlike. It's nice to come back just for us to like remember what it, the like 3D space of it is like because we took lots of pictures. And so now that we've like seen the thing and gone through sort of like how we want to shoot it on the page, now we can come here and see how we're actually going to try to achieve it and where like literally figure out exactly where the camera will be and where all the props and all the people and just lets us plan much more precisely than working out the pictures. So last time we were here, this tall grass was all over the place and there's a whole hill of it. And they chopped it down. So, to see if this still makes sense of the best place for the nightmare. I'm Jeremy Norris. I'm participating in the uh, web series Anamnesis as a producer on it. My company is Film Seal It, and we saw Anamnesis the short, fell in love with it, and saw the potential for running with a web series which we're in the process of scouting locations for now. Santa Barbara is such a beautiful location. Um, there's diversity here with the beaches, the mountains, uh, great areas like this that you can capture for a story, creating like a dream-like experience. Because yeah, because that's a nice little valley over that way. Pick you up right there. So this is a place where uh, Sean, who is a, an expert lucid dreamer, he kind of wills this place into being uh, in his dreams. It's, it's kind of like his safe place. The shot we had was sort of like a big sort of epic sweeping. We come up from behind him and see uh, what he's looking at and the sun is setting and like the colors changing. And so we got here and we did, Terrence used his little app that shows where the sun like rises and sets. And it sets in completely the wrong location for what we wanted the shot to be. So we are now planning on doing the shot at sunrise, which means we have to get here before sunrise and uh, figure that out, get it all set up to execute it as soon as the sun rises. So there are about 18 shots in the series that have visual effects that we have never done before. So today is about setting up versions of those shots and basically testing to see if we can do it and how to do it the best way possible. <laughs> we wanted to have a transition where he kind of starts out in his room, like where he's actually sleeping, because that's an experience people have sometimes, their dream body kind of separates out from their real body. And then we're trying to figure out how to transition from there into a dream space apart from his room. And so one idea we had was he's going to be kind of essentially spinning, um, but as he's spinning, the environment's going to change around him. And so he's going to land in a new environment when he finishes spinning. So in real life, it requires putting the actor on a spinny rolly chair, moving lights around him to kind of keep the lighting consistent as he spins, um, and putting it all on a green screen so we can transition the background behind him. We tried a lot of new tricky shots that we haven't, haven't put in the computer yet, so I don't know how they've turned out. Um, but it was really good. We had a lot of brains on a lot of complicated shots, and uh, it was really fun. So yeah, so now it's just about putting in the computer and seeing how it all works. <laughs> 